loves playing hide and seek and fetch with Piney Lab. Well, they're good friends. And she's the youngest as well. He stayed with her all the time. They just got fond of each other, so it's a perfect match. Normally, if we're going to the river, we go outside this cave, knock when he comes peeking out. When we're out walking, he always stays with the pugs. We heard a squeaking noise in our garden. We went outside, took a look, and there he was. We could clearly see that he hadn't eaten in a while, so we thought a lot about it and took him in. We called the wildlife patrol. They got back to us the next day, didn't really know what to do, so we kind of figured out most of it ourselves. We googled everything. We figured out they stay one year with their mother to learn to hunt and fend for themselves. So our plan was to keep him till spring. In the start, we had a leash on him so he wouldn't run away. But then one night, we were cleaning our garden and he ran off. We couldn't see him. We went inside and hoped for the best. Suddenly, he stood outside our door, squeaking again, wanted to come in. From that point, we've just opened our door. Now he basically lives outside and comes and goes as he likes. We also found out they're scared of water when they're tiny, so they don't know how to swim. We did that gradually by going to the river and small streams and just getting used to being in the water. We took it day by day. Now he's more comfortable in the water than outside of the water. He's faster, he holds his breath longer. started catching fish in the river as well. They're small, but they're still fish, and he eats them, so he knows what to do and what to do with them. We were really happy to see that. That was a big win for us. It's a lot easier now that he's starting to be more outside. He's getting more restless, so we can't do anything to keep him calm anymore. He needs to go outside and run around for himself. He really loves the snow. When this happened, the uh, first snow came, he ran, and he just slid on his belly. Then when we came to the forest, a couple days later, we drove the leash down to let the dogs run free. And he started trying to bite the leash. He thought on a little bit and got better and better, and then he did it for yards and far. He was just hanging on him. It's so clear that he does it for fun. Same when we're out in the snow playing with the kids, and he runs up the hill with us and slides down. Now we see him less. He stays away longer and longer. A lot of people ask us if he's a pet. He could not be a pet. He's a wild animal and wild is where he belongs. 